Hey, this is Rodrigo, and today we will be cooking the picadillo from the undocumented cookbook. You will need one large red onion, peeled and chopped, five cloves of garlic, peeled and chopped, one point five or two full peppers. Now, the original recipe states that you need a half of a green pepper, a half of a yellow one, and a half of a red one, but you can choose whichever colors you like. Take out the seeds, chop. Since we are boycotting Goya, you'll need about 3.5 ounces of a mixture of pimiento peppers, olives, and capers. You'll be able to find each of these ingredients in their own bottles, but feel free to use whichever mixture that you need for your recipe. One third of a box of raisins. One half of a bunch of cilantro, chopped. Spices, paprika, dry thyme, salt, pepper. One pound of chopped beef or one pound of seitan olive oil, 3 tablespoons for a chopped beef or 5 tablespoons for the seitan. And now we get to cooking. Add the olive oil. Add the garlic, onions and peppers. This recipe is rooted in Costa Rican cuisine and was submitted by Susan from New York. The first time Susan ate picadillo was in Alajuela, Costa Rica, at her grandmother's house. The second time Susan ate picadillo was in the Bronx, cooked by her mother. Add the chopped beef or the seitan. The third time was in Cambridge, Massachusetts when she made it for her housemates. And the fourth time was when she made it for her husband and daughters back in New York City. Susan is today a policy consultant and novel writer. Add the raisins, olives, pimiento peppers, and capers. Her family is now vegetarian, reason for which she has had to adapt the recipe accordingly. The taste of picadillo sent Susan immediately back to her grandmother and mother's table so many years ago. Now add your spices, a dash of paprika, a dash of thyme, salt and pepper to taste. Add the cilantro. Ultimately, Susan shares. Now in semi-quarantine with my husband, when I make this picadillo for my family, I dream of a day when we can go back to making peace with one another at tables laden with the bounty of the mothers and grandmothers and the daughters who have raised this country with the foods from every corner of this world.
let it sit for five minutes, and then it's time to eat. This is your final look at the picadillo. Serve it hot with a side of yellow rice, avocado, fried ripe platanos, and red or black beans. <laughs>